This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. and yellow that's the ramble that's the name of the program we're here until midnight tonight and uh we'll be what what is that wait a minute that's still my oh boy i i i um i've got to i've got to get rid of that that was from the holiday let me see here where are we here i didn't check to see and look i have a little over the side i'm not i'm not uh, uh, uh let me do a few things here see i got to uh, the, I, I should always look at this stuff before I get back from vacation, huh? Maybe that would be nice. Okay, here we go. Let me just, uh, first of all, let me just make this bigger, okay? Uh, here we go. Wait a minute, where are we? Back when you come in, where's the saturated bright, brightness gain? Where's the, um, hmm. Hold on a second, folks. I've got to figure this one out. First, I got to get take care of this, which is advanced, and I go, oh, zoom. Okay, there we go. Let me just zoom in a little more and get rid of that little thing on the side. There we go. And then I go down a little bit here, and we're we're fine. I guess this would fit because it's still kind of snowing out there, but, you know, uh, let's go back. Let's go to my living room. Well, wait a minute. Oh, and then I got to go. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Oh, come on. Just do it. Well, yeah, there we go. Okay, see? I come back from vacation, and, and I think I've got everything working right. In fact, I had everything working right, and it was working terrific. And then uh, I did this thing, I did that thing, and it all worked, and it was, ter you know, well, look. There's what we have, okay? All right. So anyway, uh, let me see here. Let me, oh, uh, you know, uh, it's probably time uh, to bring in uh, our, our only Zoom panelist at this point, who would be Phil Meyer. So first I click him there and get him on, okay? And then uh, we uh, sit there and there he is, folks. Hello, Phil. Let me connect your video audio. I just did. Okay, there you go. See, there you did it. Well, how's the, how's the weather there? We we got a bomb cyclone here. You know, they're coming up with these terms like bomb cyclones, and there was a, another one lately here for heavy uh, rainstorm. It's ridiculous. You know. Well, I, I am going to report from Northern California the bomb cyclone. I'm I'm in the thick of it. I, I'm getting wet. I, I'm so wet. Yeah, uh, my it's it's dripping down my face. Oh God! Let, let's not give and the impression. The wind. Let's, the wind. Let's not give. This, let's not give. There the, we got the buster. The the wind. Yeah, let's not give the impression to the younger people in our audience listening that comedy is that easy. <laughs> well, I, you and, suffered for your art, though. You're all wet and. Yeah, and here's the report. Soledad, Greenfield, Pacific Road, Gonzales, Carmel, by the way. Oh, All right. Uh, how do you turn you this off? You were telling me that oh. you, could, you, couldn't, you couldn't be on for the next couple of weeks, and I was thinking, oh, that's too bad. Now I'm beginning to think it wasn't a bad idea. Well, what was that? I'm still dripping. <laughs> no, that you're not, you're not going to be able to be on for a couple of weeks. Yeah, well, that, well, that's Well, we'll true. move your Wednesday to a Thursday on the time you're... Uh, there, there's a couple of Thursdays that I've got a conflict, but uh, a couple uh, of Thursdays. Yeah, but it, it, at the end of uh, end of February, I'm clean again. Yeah, but I mean, you if you're if you're going to do your uh, club, your photo yeah. club, uh, on what day? The seventeenth, something like that. I can't remember. Uh, those those are Wednesdays, uh, but that that Thursday, uh, I've got uh, I bought a. 
I bought a season of St. Mary's basketball oh, tickets. So we're not going to have you on for two weeks. i got to figure out what to do. I just pre-record me. What's the first day you're not going to be able to be on? Uh, I don't know. Let me look. Uh, uh, tonight, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. The next Wednesday. Uh, oh, the 11th, I'm on a plane coming back from Phoenix. The okay. 18th. So I wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So then what are you doing the day after that on the 12th? I am at a St. Mary's game at six six o'clock my oh, time. Oh, okay. Get... Okay. Yeah. So the next now, next thing is your your photo club, which is on the eighteenth. That's correct. Right. So yeah. we could do you on the nineteenth, right? Yes. Yes. That okay, is. Okay. Fine. So that's there's only one good. week I have to find something to do. Yeah. Or you know I'll call in from the plane. Which shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> you know. Uh, maybe yeah. I'll maybe I'll just have Jack do my show. Um, well, yeah. Well, you I mean, know, first, I we have to be able to get him on the air, okay? Well, uh, there won't be any video. Well, no, we forget it. Just getting the audio has been a problem. It's still waiting. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so you won't be on next week at all? No, I don't think so. But you'll be on the week after that. Yeah, let's see. Well, if your next plans week. change and you decide you're not going to go to your, what, your carpet convention... Yeah, you what, know what kind I, of hookers? What kind bezels? of hookers? What kind of hookers do you get for a carpet convention? Carpet hookers. The carpet hookers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. We're we're going carpet, to carpet munchers. Yeah, Rug right. Munchers. Exactly. Rug munchers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Carpet mm -hmm. munchers. I, I like it. So you're a comedian too, huh? <laughs> well, no, I'm trying to tell kids not to do what I do. What's that? Munch carpet. Try and be funny. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, why not? Yeah. So anyway, uh, how you doing? Uh, I'm I'm I actually doing great. This morning, I hit my next weight goal, 195. Mm hmm. And uh, but um, uh, I don't I don't know what I am tonight. But in the morning, after a big poop and with nothing on, yeah, you I'm never take you never take your you never take do your weight. Uh, I don't even do my weight now. I don't want to get depressed. Yeah. You know? uh, because, I mean, I, I my weight went up a little bit, you know, because of the whole prostate operation and stuff like that, you know. So, uh, yeah, you know. But anyway, so what did you do for New Year? I went to sleep about 7.30 or 8 o'clock. You know, I was talking to Steve Kravitz today. He said he was at bed by 10 o'clock. Yeah, Marjorie was asleep by ten o'clock, but then she woke up for our New Year's show. Yeah, did that oh, and went back to nice. sleep. Okay, uh, let me see here. Who else told me that they didn't do anything? They just went to sleep early. A couple of people. Yeah, I I, I think that's I, that's I, the routine. No, but I you think know, I think that's post COVID New Year. Yeah, and yeah. unless you go, you're a cop and you go to Times Square, and then they hit you with a machete in the head. Yeah, well, that's not fun either, you know. No, no. It's Everybody a, always has to. I just, you know what I hate about these people to do stuff like that? It's not that they do it, you know, or the, or the crime that's associated with it, but they're just ruining everybody else's fun. Well, you know? that cop didn't have a good time. Because everybody else wanted to clobber him, and he, they didn't get a chance. <laughs> no. Well, what, the clob clobbered a guy with a machete? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, but yeah. I, it, it was terrible. It, it's horrible, you know. But this is the way the world is now. We just have to yeah. accept it, you know. Yeah. It's, well, you know, maybe they're putting machetes in the Halloween candy now, and you know, it's yeah, it's yeah. a big candy. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the what's in the news? Um, Nothing much is happening. Uh, I, I tell you something. Except uh, that your Republicans can't get it together. Well, I, I, you know, I am very proud of Gavin Newsom right now. Why is he, that? He has declared he's using this bomb cyclone emergency mm -hmm. to solve homelessness. So what he's doing is he's doing a sweep and he's and he's with this emergency. He's getting all the homeless off of the streets mm -hmm. And he's telling them that they're going into warming centers. But what he's really going to do is send them to Miami. And you know, oh, I can't think of a better warming center. <laughs> right. That's what I was thinking. 
Yeah. You know, I think that there's there's something behind this. These guys are going to wind up in Miami Beach. They're you know they're going to watch uh, Shecky Green or whatever you know a couple of shows. Bell Barth. <laughs> well, uh, actually, they'll have to go. No, the, if you send them to Miami, because none of them speak English, basically. Right. Well, no, the homeless—they're all Americans. Oh, really? Yeah, it, it's it. It's, he's not sending the Mexicans. Oh, oh, or, or oh the I thought you meant the immigrants. The oh, I thought you meant the immigrants. Oh, no, 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 no. He's sending the drug uh, homeless that are living in that guy's neighborhood in uh, the Tenderloin. You know, so mm -hmm. you sweep the Tenderloin, you sweep San Jose, you sweep all of these areas, mm -hmm. you gather up the homeless, mm -hmm. you tell them like Hitler did, oh, well, you're just going for a shower. But no, you're going to a warming center. And the warming center happens to be in the state of Florida. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, I think I think Gavin Newsom is going to solve homelessness. Well, that certainly would be a way of getting even with that asshole down in Florida who's been sending people elsewhere. You know, the, both he and the governor of Texas should be arrested for kidnapping. Well, uh I I understand you're not happy with that. No, but I just think Texas. that that when you take people and you put them on a bus, the next thing you know, they're they're plopped down in the middle of New York City or in front of uh, the vice president's home or any of the number of places they've well, been aren't, sending aren't, them. Aren't right, let me finish. Sang? Yeah. No, okay. but but that's kidnapping. That's kidnapping. Well, sending them to the warming center. But no, uh, you, you know, you you <laughs> joke. You did your joke. All right. Okay. Uh, the warming center joke we get. It's a good one. All right. On on the level, uh, isn't New York, San Francisco, Washington D.C. aren't these and Chicago sanctuary cities that uh, said that they welcome uh, the the, uh, the um, Yes, I'm not complaining about that. What I'm complaining about is the fact that he's saying. We're sending you to something, and they don't tell them what, and then they get on the bus, and they wind up in New York, and they never intended to come to New York. That's kidnapping. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, hey, it's isn't Biden sending a lot of them to New York? He, was, uh, he had planes landing in uh, Westchester County Airport. For what? Uh, in the middle of the night, they were having hundreds of migrants uh, coming up uh, and being deposited in Westchester County. I didn't. I, didn't, I live in New York, and I haven't heard about this. Well, I, I've heard about it. Where did you hear about I it? Watch, you watch. Fox. I watch Fox News. Fox News. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, Biden. Biden is going to visit uh, the U.S.-Mexico border, but he's really in a taqueria in in uh, Washington, you know, you, 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 you did OK with the Newsom joke and, and, and warm warming centers. That yeah, was okay. pretty good. It wasn't bad. OK, you were teaching uh, well, the kids how to do comedy there and it thank was you. fine. Stop while you're ahead. All right. Well, Biden plans to visit visit there the U.S. Go. Mexico border. Yeah. But, you know, uh, I got a feeling knowing what Biden thinks is the U.S. Mexico border. It's uh, it's a taqueria, but uh, now uh, I don't. Right. I, I, now they they had this uh, this football game up in Buffalo uh, or with the Buffalo Bills out in uh, I can't remember where now. Oh, is that the guy that got the yeah, uh, uh, his heart stopped? Heart, heart attack. Yeah, got yeah. hit. Got hit. Heart stopped. They had to bring his, him back to life, basically. And well, the yeah, the, and then what was interesting shape. was to see the. Um, the ambulance come onto the football field and take him away. And I, yeah. all I could help but wonder, and I, I don't know much about sports, but how many points is that? Is that a touchdown when the ambulance went across the, uh, no. in the end zone? <laughs> That's a stretch. <laughs> no, I'm just no. wondering. I'm just asking a simple question. Yeah. No, I, I think that didn't the game stop? Yeah, they stopped uh, they, the game and they didn't, they didn't finish it either. They didn't continue. Uh, there was something with the 49ers. There was uh, 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 one of the players, I guess, was uh, was hurt on the field. Well, let's be honest. I mean, these are not sports that are healthy. No. Yeah. Uh, you know, I look at uh, football uh, and, you know, my my friend John Perulis has got me into a number of MMA matches mm -hmm. where I can photograph them. And uh, what I see these young kids, 20 years old. They are pummeling themselves. Uh, they, they, uh, you know, they're not going to be able to speak by the time they're thirty-five. 
Right. And I have a feeling, even with the equipment that they w- they don't wear any equipment in this MMA stuff, but with the uh, with the football, uh, yes, they have some equipment, and the, the equipment is better than you know what they had when uh, 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 George Herbert Walker Bush played for Yale. You know, all they had was leather helmets, mm-hmm. and uh, I can't imagine that did much. Yeah, uh, so you say to the player, "How many fingers am I holding up?" and he answers, "Tuesday." Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, I think uh, it's it, – oh, and uh, Scott Bodiger said, uh, too soon, Alex. Okay, all right. Uh, oh, uh, too soon for the football player? For the football football joke, yeah, about the end zone. Yeah. You know, it's only uh, because I don't know anything about football, and it was more a joke about me than about yeah, him. I, yeah, I, I'm was, sorry for him, and I think it's terrible, and I think that another football game should never be played again. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, I'm I'm not a football fan either. Uh, I'm not even a basketball fan. Although St. Mary's College is in my backyard, and it's it's good basketball, and it just it's something out of my wheelhouse. Well, yeah, but the basketball isn't. Um, people don't hurt each other much in basketball. You know, sometimes oh. somebody bumps into somebody or something like that. But the idea isn't to tackle somebody, right? You know. I, do you see have you watched any basketball games where somebody gets fouled and they're laying on the floor and they're making a really big deal out of out of being well, I've fouled? seen I've seen guys in 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 basketball games who ruin a hamstring muscle or something like that. Yeah. 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 yeah, but I'm saying that it's not as impactful a sport as football is. Yeah. And boxing. Are you out of sync? No, I'm not out of sync. Oh, not okay. at all. Not at all. Yeah. I'm perfect. Must be my connection. Hmm? Must be my connection. Then. Yeah, uh, but if you're looking at the picture, you're looking at it by it's it's delayed. It's delayed. Oh, okay. How about my picture? Do I look uh, like I'm out of sync? Yes, no, I do. Really? Yeah, that's you. Yeah, but I'm not looking at it at YouTube. I'm. No, mine's not going. Yeah, mine's not. Uh, uh, zoom, zoom picture is out of sync. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Because it's not out of sync here. So. All right. Well, that's good. Uh, yeah. But then Kevin again, McCarthy. I have I have incredible bandwidth, you know. Yeah. Huge bandwidth. Yeah, and and it's getting huger. Yeah. Oh, you know, the the weather is so bad out here. I'm getting hit by a Trump hat. You know, <laughs> they're flying all Gee, over the don't, place. Don't don't go there. Just <laughs> lay off. Quit while you're ahead. Thank you, folks. Nice being with you. You know, when you get a, a you go go out on a big laugh. Okay. Yeah. 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 So Kevin McCarthy, six times around so far. Yeah, good, for, good for him. He he doesn't give up, does he? No, no, he's persistent. You know something? When what is the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's well, what's happening with this deal. Yeah, I I think these what fourteen or sixteen people that aren't twenty for twenty pretty serious twenty twenty. Yeah. Well. Uh, you know, I look at Kevin McCarthy and I'm saying to myself, I would rather have a government that gets along. And I think that we'd be better off with a Steve Scalise than we would. Yes, you with- would. Yes, you would. But yeah. here's the thing. Here's the thing that, that, that's terrible about all of this is if you were Kevin McCarthy, let's say you went for the second vote and it didn't happen yet. Probably what you would just say is for the sake of the party. And to not create division within our party, I'm withdrawing my nomination, okay? And then go for somebody else. But no, he's going for six. And he tomorrow he's probably going to go for seven and eight. If he goes yeah. over eight, he breaks the record. Really? I, yeah. I, didn't, need, I didn't know that there was a record. The, eighth, uh, the, the last time they had this problem uh, was... Quincy Adams? Was, no, it was in 19, I think, 1923, something like that. Yeah, really? or 1928, something like that. But it was eight. It was eight uh, votes before they got somebody. Wow. You know, but this is, uh, you know, this is showing a dysfunction within the Republicans that I don't know how that's sitting with the public. The, well, I, I think that they're just trying to make a big deal about nothing. I, no, I guess they're not McCarthy, making a big deal. They're not making a big deal about nothing. No, not you. Because I think because here, public, here's a guy. Here's a guy who wants to be the Speaker of the House, which is the third in line for the presidency, by the way. We should mention that. And he wants to, uh, you know, he doesn't give up on this deal. And he's showing 
that he can't rally his party to his side. He isn't even a good leader to be Speaker of the House. I, well, he doesn't, you know, there are some people that don't feel that he's going to be hard enough on Biden, that he's going to investigate enough people and so forth. T- but you know something? Well, that's not, I don't think that's, it shouldn't be tit for tat. We, I don't want to be hard on Biden. I, I want him to be, I want him to lose the next election, but I don't want to waste the the time of the nation Doing, oh, they're going uh, to. They're absolutely going to. Well, they will if you have and, Kevin And that's McCarthy. not the reason. No, that's not the reason why they're not voting for Kevin McCarthy. No, I you thought know, that was- No, that wasn't one of the reasons. There are, the trouble is you got about 20 people there with 18 different reasons, 18 different things they want, and he can't give yeah. them all of them. Some of them are yeah. a little out there. Uh, uh, but I, but he's, he's not... Uh, He's not able to accommodate all of them, and so all 20 are going against him, you know. Mm. And uh, by the way, the, the, the Biden thing is not part of it. It's not part of what they're oh. asking. Well, that, that's yeah, uh, out of him. I heard that they, uh, some of these people. There were a whole bunch of things. There were so many that I can't even read them here. They just are ridiculous. Some of well, I, you know, I just think that a better leader for the Republican Party would be Steve Scalise. Probably, I think probably. He's, more uh reasonable mm-hmm. and you know he'll do what's right uh and not what's you know uh, trying to get back at, at people but uh you know that, that's um you know i i also uh, uh brought up a thing uh this was a, a crime this was a wall street journal i think mm-hmm. and uh Texas man, uh, well, here, uh, there was this gal, gal, Gigi Jordan, millionaire mom, mm-hmm. kills her kills her child and has to go back to jail. Sotomayor uh, from the Supreme Court uh, said that she had to return to custody while she was awaiting a new trial. So that she, they found her dead in the bathtub in Brooklyn. Uh, let's see. Mom claimed cl- uh, son slipped while getting out of bathtub, now accused of murdering him. Uh, torso killer pleads guilty to where, where killing. Where are you New getting York these? Is this, is, is this to make our our show be a happy? Yeah, yeah. Show? Oh, oh okay. uh, a California man with a seemingly perfect life killed his wife, then went on the lam after posting bail. Uh, New Jersey man sentenced to ten years for shooting teen girl in the head in crowded apartment. I guess you know mm-hmm. she needed more room. Uh, husband pleads guilty to killing wife with antifreeze opiates and after death was after her, her death was first well, and what is this all about well it's it's you know i'm, I'm looking at this stuff and it, people are nuts elsewhere you know? in the news yeah <laughs> and it's raining <laughs> i have a big news item yeah uh, the new buyers of uh, of uh, hbo max mm-hmm. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Discovery, because it's now Warner Discovery. Really? Okay. The Discovery ha- have, Channel ha- ha- have removed 256 Warner Brothers cartoons from HBO Max. Uh, why? Because they don't want to pay. They don't want to pay residuals on them. Really? Yeah. They've been there since the beginning of HBO Max. But that was almost the entire library. They still have about another 250, but it was almost the entire library of Warner Brothers cartoons that was on there. Who bought this? Elon Musk? No, Discovery Channel. I know. <laughs> you know. And they also got rid of shows like Westworld and a couple of others that they're now going to turn around and try and sell to people like Roku and so on to run as advertising-based uh, shows. Uh, I mean, they're ruining HBO Max. I'm, I'm, I may, if I'm getting it for free, so through AT and T. You know, I have seen over the years a lot of companies that buy other companies and then they sell off the assets because the individual well, assets. This, this wasn't are actually, se- this wasn't selling off assets. This no. is just you know they're trying to save. They're trying to cut three billion dollars out of their overhead. Three billion. Yeah. So I mean, come on, you know. I, I, people subscribe to these services because they expect a certain amount of quality. And this guy thinks that it's going to be, they're going to combine the Discovery Channel with HBO. Are you ready mm-hmm. for that one? Yeah. Who needs that? 
Well, so uh, yeah, you got, you got a shark. Oh uh, no, that's a whale. <laughs> that's one of my whale shots. Uh, you know, I could be on the Discovery Channel. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I didn't think the Discovery Channel was that big. What is just HBO by Discovery or Discovery bought HBO? Bought HBO. Wow. You know, uh, all all of that with Shark Week. They bought it from AT and T. Well, I think AT and T probably didn't want it. Uh, you know, well, they, they wanted to get rid of it. Fun. Yeah, they wanted to get rid of it. I mean, it, it, but you know, I mean. It, it, Discovery at least is in show business, but it's a different kind of show business. So I don't, yeah. I don't completely yeah, I understand. Don't, I don't know that that's the best combination. Yeah. Uh, Elon Musk, they're saying that he mm -hmm. didn't pay one hundred and thirty-six thousand dollars rent. Now you used to work in the same building yes. as Twitter. Yeah. And uh, so I would think that the rent on uh, Tenth and Market, uh, you know the the, the market uh, thing, is much more than one hundred and thirty six thousand mm -hmm. uh, dollars. So uh, I think maybe that's a negotiating tactic on his part to try to reduce the rent uh, at Tenth and Market. Well, who knows? Who knows? I, I, I it, it, it's it, I, we haven't heard about Musk and Twitter for about a week now. So why should we have to deal with him again? Well, w one thing now, Musk lost uh, like two hundred billion dollars. Yeah. And Twitter, uh, not Twitter, but uh, Tesla he didn't stopped. lose two hundred billion dollars. Yeah, yeah. He, he said he lost. They said he lost two hundred worth one hundred and forty or something, one hundred and twenty nine. Well, that, you now that's lower than two hundred billion. No, he lost so two hundred now. Yeah, that's what he yeah, has now. Yeah, over 300 billion before. Well, gee, do you right. think he can afford to have dinner at Ruth Chris Trey Steakhouse? Probably. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think he especially can. during happy hours. In fact, hours. I think he could but, take all of us out and still have money left over <laughs> every yeah, day well, until we die. <laughs> uh, you know the the thing about uh, his his purchase of Twitter and this and the uh, amount of money that he's losing in Tesla mm -hmm. is that Twitter is now his biggest asset. That that's that's where he, he was lucky he bought that because Twitter didn't fall as far as Tesla. Well, you know, all these things, he's in a bad economy right now and it'll it'll turn around for him. I mean, I, I think he's still OK. Hey, hello, hey, Trekker Steve. How's the health, pal? Yeah, I heard uh, you get a uh, kidney. What? I was supposed to. Uh, my kidney doctors had called me yesterday to have an appointment for my transplant actually for today really yeah that's i, I four hours you. later yesterday they called me and said oh sorry you're the backup oh you're what somebody's ahead of you if they refuse it then it's going to you so do you get the next one after that and now i gotta wait for a phone call tomorrow morning and see what happens Okay, well, we'll keep our fingers crossed here. Well, you know, I, I wrote him yesterday when I saw he was going to be getting a kidney, and I said, does this mean you're not going to call into the ramble? <laughs> <laughs> no, hopefully he'll be healthy to just No, walk. literally, I was supposed to be on the operating table today. Really? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, you know, it'll, it'll it'll happen. You know, if you're if you were next in line, I guess, you know, why did why was it why, why did this other person suddenly turn out to go ahead of you? I'm not sure. I mean, they got me all excited. I I've gone through a year and a half of this shit. And mm -hmm. you know, I posted on Facebook and then I had to repost giving an update and I'm getting everybody commenting saying Congratulations, get well soon, and all that stuff. Yeah, and then, well, you know. yeah, yeah. But what? What? Uh, so, who was the guy who got the kidney? Was his name Trudeau? <laughs> if it was him, I'd be punching him in the fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that that certainly is a, a really nice, warm sentiment. Uh, yeah, really. Yeah, he likes him as about as much as we like Trump. Yeah, yeah. So you know, every country's got to have their politician to hate. Got hit by the hat again. <laughs> Will somebody please stop him? Could, could you? You could have muted him for twenty-nine of the thirty minutes he was running his mouth the first half hour. 
Well, he 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 you know he's very funny. He's hilarious. Not anyway. Hello, hello, Kevin. Hello, Josh. Hello, Brian. Hello, Charlie. How are you all doing? I'm good. Very good. You're good. why are you here tonight, Josh? Usually you're working on a on a Wednesday night. I uh, usually am, but I'm off for a while because I'm getting a different job. So oh, you're getting a different job well, at the same uh, same company or another company. No, I am going to one of our competitors. Really? Wow. Oh. Yeah. Well, how does how does your bosses feel about that? Uh, they didn't say. I mean, it, it was okay, I guess. They didn't, they didn't say, uh, what will it take to keep you here? No, I didn't think that they would. Mm -hmm. And the competitors, are they giving you a better job? I mean, a better position? Yeah. And, yeah. and I imagine better money. Yes. Well, then you can take all of us out to dinner at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. <laughs> Probably not, but we'll, we can talk about well, it. Well, then we'll have to rely on Elon to do it. So Yeah, yeah. he can probably do it. Yeah. Now, in the paint industry, Josh, uh, you, you got uh, uh, several big players. One of them was the one that you worked for. But there's, there's Kelly Moore and there's Benjamin Moore. Is it true that Benjamin Moore was Kelly Moore's illegitimate cousin? I do not know. It, no, is there a Kelly Moore paint? Yeah, there's a Kelly yeah. Moore. There's a Benjamin Mainly Moore. On the West Coast, Kelly Moore. Could have been. It could have been. They were brothers or something, and then they went. You know, like with uh, with Starbucks, they went their separate ways. You know, and started separate companies. Yeah, that's logical. But why are you why are you asking? Uh, well, Josh is the paint aficionado. But just because he works for a company doesn't mean he knows the history of paint. Or, or, it could be or wait a Phil's minute, wait a minute. Bad sense of humor. What? Or it could be Phil's bad sense of humor. Yeah, uh, uh, Josh, um, uh, do you know the history of paint? I mean, are you up on the history of paint? No, not really. Oh, okay, because he's really good when it comes to the Constitution, but when it comes to yeah. paint. Mm. Well, if you leave the paint on long enough, it'll dry. That's right. And you know what, I love it. what's fun is to watch it dry. I just I just repainted in here. In fact, when Someone I called the show on Monday, mm -hmm. you got if you check the background from Monday, you yeah. were watching paint dry. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, it, uh, yeah. well you should have you should you should have let us know about that. <laughs> because some of I, it has to be uh, uh, baked on, and some of it has to be moisture added to cure. So some of it will never dry. Because I yeah. wanted to start a thing once uh, on uh, on the internet called Slow TV. And we just have things that are slow, like we'll paint a wall and then you watch it dry. Right? We got things that are slow. Alan's on this show. Or, or, or we take a picture of the street after a snowstorm. We have watched the snow melt. You know. Nobody the laughs grass and watch it grow. Didn't you do something like that? I did a, a similar once, a thing long time ago. We did you, it. Yeah, we, a long time. And you got a million views. I, I stuck, I stuck a, a camera out my window and said, is snow melting? You know, slow TV, uh, uh, what do you call it? Snow is melting. And uh, yet I didn't get a thousand. I got about a thousand people, I think. Do you know the latest edition of um, Marjorie and Alex are in yeah. the park? We got 1,200 views on that thing. And I'm wondering, what am I doing with you guys? All I need is my wife. Bring Marjorie on. Five minutes yeah. of, of two people arguing and then tongue kissing, and that's it. Like, like we've why decided we're going to tongue kiss on every episode. Cause that people why don't you take a picture of the park, put it up on the green screen, and then just you and Marjorie sit in front of the green screen? Well, that doesn't work. Somehow the, the audience is just, they didn't like it when we, we did it from our living room one time, and we only got about 500 that time. But this only. time, 1,200. And wow. it's still going. It's still going. So, you know. I think it was Kevin. You said, didn't you say that short stuff probably does better than long stuff? Somebody said that either. The probably other... on the internet on on podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. But people talk shit. Yeah. People yeah. don't Kevin have the changed all of a sudden. He looks like Phil. Who? Who? You? He asked Kevin the question and you spoke up. Well, because huh? Phil doesn't know how to shut up. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, but anyway, so um, 
everybody like what's happening with the Republicans in Congress and the wonderful show they're putting on for America about how good they are at what they do? Yeah, they're making history. Huh? They're making, making history. history again. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe that after, in fact, the number of people that voted didn't vote for him went up rather than down. I, I he, love it. I think it's hilarious. And Kevin McCarthy yeah. still sitting there going, I'm not giving up. Well, when are you going to give up? When everybody is fucking bored with this thing? Uh, they'll, they'll have a little mini insurrection. <laughs> hey, uh, can Democrats vote for the House Speaker? Yes, yeah. of course. They did. So why would why, they? They did. So they why did. wouldn't they uh, vote for you know uh, for Kevin McCarthy if the Republicans? Why don't? should a Democrat vote for Kevin right. McCarthy? Well, they, right. somebody's got to vote for a House Speaker. Well, they uh, they put up they put up a Democrat yeah, for Hakeem House Speaker. Yeah, Jeffrey's got more votes than McCarthy. He still has more votes than McCarthy. I and but he I doesn't have enough to win. Yeah. You should pay attention to this thing. It's kind well, of fascinating. Because it's, it's amazing that these are people who are saying, we're going to lead this country and we're going to do... They, can't lead, they couldn't lead a horse to water and make them drink, you know? I mean, they, they just don't have the ability. Yeah, they put that one gal up today that started telling them, look over on the other side, they're all drinking alcohol and eating popcorn. And... <laughs> yeah, right. Boy, everybody... everybody oh, the Democrats are having the time that. of their lives there, I'm you sure. know? Yeah. This is a happy party for them and for the Republicans. It's a nightmare. Well, it's because they only have a short time until they start investigating all of them. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, all the Republicans. Yeah, we're going to get Hunter. Oh. We're going to get Hunter Biden. That's how we're going to waste our time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That laptop has gone through the shredder four years ago. Yeah. yeah. I, you yeah. know, I, I got dibs on that laptop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's Tony. Ah. I wonder how Tony fared New Year's Eve. Probably had a oh, lot I'm of hot broads. Drunk again. Probably had a lot of hot babes over at his house. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I watched the football games and I and I ate Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> then I watched some more movies after the game. I watched both of those games. Were great. It was really too good for. Well, they really games. were. I thought they were terrific. You didn't. Do it. They, were, they were really. Good. Hey, <laughs> who knows what football player got hit in the heart? Uh, what what team he was on? Buffalo Bills. Bills. Buffalo Bills. Well, what was the other team? Cincinnati. Cincinnati. He's in Cincinnati, Cincinnati right now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. Are you happy now? You now you know. Well, I didn't know before, so uh, you don't know much of it. Isn't on Fox. Well, I don't know anything about sports. <laughs> yeah. You know. Well, I don't know that much about sports either, but I, I did know about this thing happening to him. Yeah. Well, I, could, I heard about I it. I just didn't know what teams they were on. I was telling Brian, we messaged each other. I thought he was dead on the field. My sister called me. Well, his heart stopped. He yeah. was dead on the field, technically, yeah. Hey, they, oh. say two, they say his heart stopped two times. Yeah. Like outside on the field, and they got him in the ambulance. It could have happened back. because of, uh, he was, he was ta what, tackled in the chest or something. And yeah. he got hit, like, yeah. in the, and that can yeah, cause you... If you get hit just right, in the chest, it'll stop your heart. Yeah. And then there was some the other actor circuit. that got some blunt, blunt force trauma. Yeah. Well, Jer Jer Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy Renner. Renner. Yeah. Okay. In Reno. Yeah. Yeah. This right. house in Reno. How did he get hit with a snowplow? Up on uh, up on Mount Rose, by the way. I used to go up and have uh, dinner. He was Mount helping Rose. somebody apparently and got hit. Wow. He started going. He jumped back in it or something, and I think it turned over or something on him. Yeah. Plow cylinder hit him. What? 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 What did you say, Kevin? I heard the plow cylinder hit him. What's the yeah. plow no cylinder? It's one of the cylinders that pushes the plow. Oh, okay. All right. You think they have snow rolls? Running around in a fucking. Well, I know Mount. I know that Mount Rose area. It gets very, very snowy How during the winter. Is it that it's, much snow? Oh, I, I remember. We used to go to a restaurant there, steakhouse called the Christmas Tree. Still there, I think. And uh, my father loved it. We'd go there and eat all the time. But we didn't ever went up there during the winter because it was there were pictures like up on the wall of the roads, just like the snow, two feet high. You know. Yeah. Right. Right now, there's a couple that, big storms coming through from the. They said that he was a uh, he's a large equipment collector, and he's got a bunch of big 
pieces of equipment up there and snow plows are one of them yeah yeah well he also he's a very good actor and i i you know very likable you know so on but does anybody know the likes to go out and plow the road oh by the way there is going to be a uh, jack bishop show tonight yeah, there wasn't last night. That's what you said no, last there wasn't. Night. That's why I know I said last <laughs> night. Uh, uh, but true to his form, I get a call from him last night, and he can't get audio into his encoder. And uh, so I then go on and look at his stuff, and I guess I missed something because I don't know exactly his setup. He's got some like piece of equipment that I would never have installed here called uh, a Zoom. Um, uh, whatever and it's a it's a mixing board and uh he he apparently didn't have the we looked at it today and he didn't have the uh his encoder set to pick up that so hopefully tonight he will go on on zoom or skype hey that uh, restaurant on skype. that you, that you, restaurant alex you used to go to with your father mm -hmm. is it ruth's christmas steakhouse <laughs> phil please stop Okay. Is he doing a stand-up routine tonight? Because this is not this is not a, a night at the improv. Even okay. Charlie's not laughing. I mean, please. Yeah. <laughs> well, he doesn't trust any Adams. Maybe we'll give you your own show and call it the Lame Joke Hour. Yeah. <laughs> I only got about thirty seconds. First guest. Yeah. Yeah, he could, he could be like Ed McMahon. I was watching Mike Douglas. I told Shecky Alex, and it was on. I was on. A, I got lost in YouTube. I was going to ask you this. He had Jimmy Con, James Con on. I didn't understand it. Like he came out. Jimmy Con. Did, did you know him? Did you know him? You called him Little Jimmy, Jimmy Con. You called him Jimmy Con. That's, Con. That's what Mike Douglas called him. I was like, but you know what was weird when he came out the first guest. He was like standing, like they weren't sitting down. They were like standing, addressing the crowd, like just talking. And then they went, okay, let's go sit. Like, I wonder, that was kind of like odd how they were like not, they didn't go right to the couch right away. I was like, wow. They don't let the Jews sit down. No. <laughs> yeah, James Conn's Jewish. Yeah, he was he, Jewish. He's also was a dead, dead Jew now. now. That, he's a good, he's a only kind of a good Jew, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's dead. Never let him go for killing Jesus. Jesus was a Jew. I mean, come on. It's ridiculous. How's Trump doing this week? Anything? I saw those facts. Oh, yeah. He's backing McCarthy. He's, <laughs> he's backing. You know, the way you can lose is, you know, he, I would just have called him up and said, no, don't. Don't don't endorse me. Don't endorse me. <laughs> he's yeah, McCarthy's he, toast now. Trump yeah, actually. they can't even vote this guy in. It was like a trick. It's a comedy show. I'm watching this. Yay, nay, it's like, well, you know, no, 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 what it is, if there was movement either way, I could see him yeah. not re resigning his nomination or whatever. But there isn't any movement. The only movement is away from him rather than towards him. And Somebody, how many times you have to sit there and take the embarrassment that nobody wants you? Um, doesn't he get the point? Like, this is not happening. Really. It, could, it could be worse. It could be Marjorie Taylor Greene or Matt Gates. Oh, <laughs> well, but it wouldn't be. Because the Republicans would never get behind them. They consider them goofballs in the yeah. in the party, you know. But Phil, Phil would have sex with them. Yeah, well, he finds Marjorie Taylor Greene hot. I mean, unfortunately, I got to tell you, when you talk about when you talk about hot Republicans, okay, how hot is Lauren Bobert? Bo Bo you know, mm -hmm. not sure. I. Uh... He I doesn't know who it is. I think she's quite hot. Colorado? Is she Colorado? Yeah. 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 She almost lost. Uh, but she squeaked by just by that much. You know? Well, they, they had a bunch of uh, mail-in ballots that they found from the Republicans. What? In Colorado. That's how she squeaked by. It was, she, they found a box of mail-in ballots. They were Democratic, but... They wrote over them and said Republican. Kids, and that's how kids do not pay attention to his sense of humor, please. If you're going to grow up to be a comedian, to, you, there are a lot of other good examples of comedians. Jerry Seinfeld, perhaps. Yeah, or, well, he makes money. I just take pictures. Of money. Yeah. No, of <laughs> comedians. But, <laughs> but anyway, so... Um, have, have, we haven't seen anything like this, what, till, since 1928, Josh? 
Uh, I heard the 1923 was the last time. 1923, they okay. Multiple ballots, and uh, I think they had a. I'm pretty sure they had a crisis in the late 1850s because everything was. No, a they had quite a few before 23, yeah. but after 23, uh, no, they've never had. They yeah, had this uh, happen. Yeah, in the, in the years. You know, in that last seven or eight years uh, prior to the Civil War, um, everything was a political war. You know, so they had a. A ton of disagreements at, at the time. Um, you know, this one that they're having now is uh, a little different than than I think ones previously. So I would say it's you know unique, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do, uh, but uh, I mean, we should probably give it up that he's just not going to be. You know. Well, I mean, no by, by now he should have given up just to say yeah. I'm doing it for the sake of the party, so that we you don't know, have I mean, a Yeah, right. I mean, but no he doesn't care him, about so. the he doesn't care about the party. That's the problem. No, I don't think right. I mean, I think he cares about. Uh, I think he just wants to be speaker, you know, for himself. And I'm right. sorry that that's crushing his little dream or whatever. But, um, McCarthy to me is not a. McCarthy to me is not a leader. He, he's a talker. He's just a, a mouthpiece who says whatever he thinks people will want to hear, you know. Um, and he's uh, fairly easily swayed. You know, he'll say whatever, you know, things are people want to hear. Well, that's one I, of the things. I don't things like they, Trump. I love Trump. I don't like Trump. I love Trump again. That's you know one of I mean? the things they don't like about yeah. him is they don't think right. they can trust yeah. him. Right, which yeah. is their right, you know, and I get it. I mean, and, you know, look, I, I don't have a particular uh, bend that, about him being speaker or not speaker. You know, there's this, you know, I mean, uh, I just am analyzing it the way that I see it. I mean, I, I don't think that he's a good person or a good, a good leader. Um, you know, to me, I think. I don't hardly see how he's a member of Congress, let alone they want to make him the speaker. You know, he's, I mean, to me, he's trash, you know, and, and listen, I've got plenty of Democratic members who are trash, okay? Yeah. And if they try to make one of them speaker, then I'll say they shouldn't, but that's not what they're doing today. They're trying yeah. to make someone else speaker, you know, I mean, he just, you know, he just, I mean, I heard him like twice earlier today say, you know, he thinks he should be speaker because he's got the most votes. Well, you know, maybe you should clarify your comments because you don't have the most votes. As a matter of fact, you have about 10 less than Hakeem Jeffries. So yeah. if you'd like to go with the guy with the most votes, we'll take that deal if that's what you'd like to do, you know. I mean, that's what I'm saying is he doesn't even have as many votes well, as, you, the, as you, the Democrats. You do know so. that they could nominate and vote for somebody who isn't even a congressman to be Speaker of the House. Uh, yeah, they... They could find almost anyone they want. Yeah, well, not almost. They can find and, anyone and, they and, want. And, uh, you know, I haven't been working in the last eight years, and uh, <laughs> I'm available. I would vote for you. Yeah. You? you know, in some ways, uh, that might not be a terrible idea. Um, it's never been done, but... Put some put somebody possible. in there who's not a, not a politician, basically. Well, that's not a member that is basically just there to run the... Uh, run the system i mean you know what yeah. they need is a manager you know but that's the problem is you know the hyper -politicaz politicization of you know the speakership is is not going to be healthy for anybody and i mean you know this list of demands and things that that these people want that he's thinking about giving them now i mean this these th these are things of stupidity that have no bearing on helping steer the country and if it's obviously not what the people asked for in November you know a select special committee to study the quote weaponization of the FBI I mean you think anyone went to the polls in November and voted and said I'd really like a special committee on the weaponization of the FBI yeah yeah, not, yeah. no one is concerned about that by their own admission, the Republican Party itself didn't even say that was an issue. They said it was inflation. Hmm. Not, but, but today, in the speakership debate, there was no discussion of inflation. There was discussion of a demand that we would like a select committee 
to investigate the weaponization of the FBI. I mean, these are their demands. These are their top priorities, which is fine with me. I well, hope that's, it, that remains their top priorities. And then they can lose the next election and they won't have so much trouble. Well, it, 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 to begin with, you know, until it was very yeah. strange, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, until they f figure out who the speaker is going to be, they can't give the oath of office to the Congress people right. who are coming in. That's yeah. right. That's yep. right. So, you know. Well, they can't conduct their legislative business in the House, which means right. that no legislative business can be done because legislation requires both houses of Congress. You know, the only things that don't are things that you would not consider legislation. Such no, but what, as I'm saying is, what I'm saying is they can't like they, those sorts of things. They can't give the oath of office to the new people who've just gotten elected. Correct. Until Correct. they get a speaker. Correct. Yeah. yeah, which means they can't conduct business. Which means right. that yeah, the, guy, you, the guy here out in Long Island can't be brought into the Congress yet. So. Right. Yeah, if you listen, uh, if you listen closely to the uh, the clerk or the votes mm -hmm. or whatever, um, most of these people they will often mention as member elect because yeah. they are technically not a member. But of they them. can vote for this. They can vote on this. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, Santos is because able it's to not vote. Legis on that. It's not legislation. Santos is able to vote on yeah. this in spite of the fact that he's a scumbag who lied to everybody about what he had going for him. Yeah, right. that was an amazing one. I yeah, I mean, you know, this isn't you know legislation. It's just a, a fake male Jew black. Um, <laughs> it's just a parliamentary <laughs> sort of. Uh, and his, mo his just, mother died. His mother died in nine eleven or something. But yeah, but then that. the next year he said something else about her that she it was she yeah. was still alive. I mean, uh, and this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy is going to be given the oath of office. Didn't yeah. he say that dog ate his homework? Yeah. Yeah. My well, well he, said, he said, I embellished my resume. Embellishing a resume <laughs> is when you got a, a B and you said you got an A. Not when you say your mother died in 9-11 on the bill. I mean, how do you get that screwed up? Don't you even know how his mother died? I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. Isn't, isn't Brazil trying to extradite him for his fraud? Something like that, and that he's Jewish. He said he was Jewish. Oh, you want to laugh? You got so many things against him. Yeah, right? Jewish. What? You want to hear something funny? You mentioned mothers. Our poor mayor. The poor guy took two days off, and they were killing him, Alex. And on, I was listening to Ten Ten Wins eating my dinner, and he goes, they had a sound clip of him. He goes, I had to get away for two days because I was thinking about my mama. She's been gone now a couple of years. So he went hey, away. Tony, they're giving this guy grief over taking two days. Tony, off. your mother died. Maybe you can be a congressman. No, this is mayor. <laughs> this is the mayor. I know, but hey, Tony, the the guy said his mother died. True, well, that's then he died. said she was alive. <laughs> I mean, it, it it is such a farce. And by the way, a Republican, uh, it, it, who, and Republicans who voted for him. It's the Republican playbook. What what, uh, what district is he from? He's out in Long Island somewhere. Remember how he, how New he York? Might be Sean Patrick Mahoney, isn't it? Yeah, I think he, it was a newly formed district. Okay. And that's how the Republicans got one more, one more congressman, was because they won, he won out there, and all of a sudden the New York, New York Times starts doing some investigating and looking into his background, and nothing, nothing that he said about himself was true. Yeah. You know, he had York, Hunter Biden's laptop. The New York Times <laughs> wrote, a, wrote a thing on him. Too. What, what did you say? The New York Times had a big write-up on him also about all the lies and. His parents. Wait, 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 wait Brian, stop. what do you mean she isn't dancing anymore? Nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think Phil got the coffee and not Tony. Sorry. Oh, thanks for the coffee, honey. It's really You're good. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I I think I sent Phil the the caffeinated and Tony. <laughs> yeah, I did. You saved us for the I had it over the weekend. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, okay, Adrian. Bye. Thank you, Adrian. Thank, Thank you. you. Come back later. Come back later. Yeah. Yes. Bye. Thank you. That that top was a little too. Uh, it has a mid drift, and she was jumping up and down, and I didn't want to get demonetized <laughs> <laughs> or charged with child porn or something, you know. So, but she luckily it didn't happen. So. There was some show. I think it was in New York 
uh, uh, that uh, they're charging ch uh, sex abuse or child porn because the actors were underage. Well, you're talking about you're talking about a movie that happened years ago. Yeah, Romeo, yeah, and, Romeo Juliet. and Juliet. They say there was. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think it's a little late to be complaining about yeah. that. You know. And wasn't the lawsuit I, I read? Wasn't it five hundred million? The suit. Yeah. I I don't know how much it is. I just saw the item quickly. All I know is that my cousin, who was an actor, and in the, the movie guys. Black Christmas, Look what Hyundai has. was in the movie. It was in the movie with uh, uh, with her, and they started dating, hmm. and they were a number for a little while. So, I can't remember what her name was now. Anybody remember? Olivia Hussey or Olivia something? Olivia Hussey, exactly. Yeah. You know. Uh, Real Hussey. I mean, she's complaining about sex, and she's got a name like Hussey. You know. <laughs> and the other one was, a, the guy was, I'm trying to remember, it's a long time ago. They were underage. Was that, is that what? The yeah, I think was? they were underage when they made the picture. Yeah. 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 And they were forced. Everybody knew about it. They said that when they were making it. That was what? What did? Well, that's what, what kind of sold it was. They were the ages that Romeo and Juliet were. Were in Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. What? No, I, I was just uh, thinking that, uh, you know, you had that Brooke Shields movie. Wasn't she under 18? Yeah, that was... Uh, I mean, yeah, Blue Lagoon. Yeah. Lagoon. No, not yeah. Blue, Lagoon. Blue Lagoon. There was there was one before that where she played a, a teenage prostitute. Uh -huh. uh, in New Orleans, oh. and I'm trying to remember the name of that movie. Uh, that was the one they were really bothered by. You know? Well, actually, in the Blue Lagoon. Jodie Foster was only 13 Blue. when she made Taxi, whatever it was. She, yeah, the, what was when what she was when so... she did Taxi Driver, she had to have a person with her at all times to help her through it. Wow. So uh, what happened so in the she... Romeo and Juliet thing that it would have been considered uh, child abuse? It was just that I think the scenes in it. Parents were Republican. Yeah. Oh, fuck now, you the well. scenes in it were, were a little explicit. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. boring. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me look it up here. What was the name of the movie? Romeo and Juliet. Pretty Baby. Yeah. That's the one. Time That's the other about. one. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That was uh, Brooke Shield. No. Yeah. This here we go. 1998. Uh, there's one earlier. What, what is it? No, oh, Romeo and Juliet, 1996. No, so in the blue that like Lagoon, 1460 Shakespeare. Hmm? They were they were really they were they told Christopher Atkins he couldn't touch Brooke Shields in the Blue Lagoon because he was 19 and nude in the water with her. Oh. Oh really? They didn't have something on even though they were in the water. You know, like a bodysuit or. I can't find Romeo and Juliet. Oh. The, 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 the original one doesn't, uh, doesn't well, show look, up here. Look at here. IMDb hey, 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 for yeah. Shakespeare. I'm looking. I, I'm looking for Romeo and Juliet, and uh, it's not... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's not. Uh, let me see here. Norma Shearer did one. God, they did a lot of them. Orlando Bloom did one. Uh, Gary Old... Oh, no, he did Romeo. was bleeding. Uh, uh, Romeo and Juliet... No, I can't find that one. Wow. Well, hmm. I'm not going to spend the whole night well, looking Well, maybe it's on the it. news, you know, in the news because of the suit. Uh, let me see what I can find. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. Do I care? No, I don't care. Yeah. Let, let uh, Phil spend the rest of the show looking it up. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Look, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead, check it out. It was a 1968. Mm -hmm. uh, Romeo and Juliet stars Sue over 1968 films nudity. Okay, 1968? Yeah. 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 What was the name? Who were the two people? How much is the suit? Uh, I read it was five hundred million. What? Well, she's pretty. Um, yeah. That's because she's only seven, Phil. <laughs> she has 16. No, I'm, 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 looking, I'm looking at a video, uh, and um, uh, Romeo and Juliet stars. Now, let's see if they have their name. And Phil has a bumper sticker on the back of his card that says, eight is too late. What? <laughs> Now, uh, the, the director was Franco Zeffirelli. Zeffirelli. Yeah. Zeffirelli. yeah. yeah. Uh, read full article. Okay. Uh, read full article. This is it. Uh, this is 500 exciting. million. What? Uh, Olivia Hussey. Right. 
Uh, she's now 71, and Leonard Whiting, who was 16, and now 70, now 72. So nobody uh, ever uh, remembers Leonard. <laughs> yeah, Leonard Whiting, but Olivia Hussey, she's pretty. Uh, Anybody know an Adam? Uh, hold on a second. Let me get the name here. Adam Salmon. Yeah, I I don't I don't trust it. Do you? I'm afraid. Yeah, you know, he could be the prince from Saudi Arabia. Salman. No, he just left. He just left. Yeah. So well, no, I don't have to worry about. It. Oh, I saw Phil on the show when he left. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what do you guys think of the the contract that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo signed with that uh, soccer team in Saudi Arabia? Two and a half years, two hundred million per year. Good God. It's good work if you can get it. Kick that bull boy in head. How much a year? That's two hundred million per year. <laughs> to play what? Soccer. Soccer. Cristiano Ronaldo Ronaldo. Do they pay that kind of money for players. soccer? It's paid in pay. That tells right? you how much money it is there is in fucking Saudi Arabia. Yeah. yeah. They could pay that much for an athlete. Okay, I'm going to let this guy in, but I'm going to do it quickly so that I can oh, also no. get rid of him. Okay, let's let's hope. Oh, we're... Jack Don't Bishop. let Adrian in the room. Okay. Um, hello, Adam, are you there? Adam, are you there? Connecting. No, no. Yes, I'm no. here. I'm here. How are you? Hello. Where are you calling from? Um, at? No, I'm actually, it's my first time using this app, actually. I never used it. You never I'm quite sure I joined on it. Uh, that's not good. You have a camera, that's Adam? Good. <laughs> that's not good. Doesn't sound good, huh? Oh, no, there he is. There he is. Where are you, Adam? Where are you calling I'm from? I'm good. I'm good. I was sorry. I was, playing, I was playing my favorite game, and this guy's strong. I tried to defeat him. He's too strong. His, power, his health is really questionable. He's really strong. I got a feeling you're going to get photobombed. Okay, go. remove. Go. Here we go. Remove. Got him before he could get us. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was smelling like a bomb. Yeah, he it, sounded it, like Tony. It was smelling like a bomb, but he wasn't fast enough at getting the video started. Somebody That's really what happened. Yeah, he's just... really strong. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> Bradley Freeman. It was now his first time using the app. And now there's a Bradley Freeman. Do we know? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, that's, B. that's, that's, that's Bree. That's Bree. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Bree. Okay. I can. Yeah, he, he, he was on the chat also. It'd be funny if I turned it on and Bree's there jerking off. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bree. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, from Malaysia, yeah. it's Bree. It's me. It's me, Alex. Yes. Yeah. How's it going there? Yeah. Did you have, did, how do they celebrate New Year at uh, in Malaysia? Same way we celebrate it here? Oh, uh, we. What? <clears throat> same way you same way you celebrate it. There. What what's all that noise? Yeah, same way. Somebody's got the audio. Uh, yeah, turn off your um, browser. Who's oh getting, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about that. There we go. Guys. Totally forgot. You know, there we go. Sorry about that. that. Where is? Uh, there we go. Where on this little computer? It's... Yeah. So anyway, so what? You, so what do you do for New Year's there? Don't tell me well, you I got to bed by ten o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't here for New Year's. You weren't. Where were you? I was in Bangkok. Really? Oh. Yeah. Actually, a little south of Bangkok. You have a joke about that? Uh, um... Oh, yeah, he was having a good time, G.I. <laughs> no. Bubbles, Bangkok, you? No, 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 you? There no, we go. You. Yeah. Happy yeah. ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah Bubbles, used, Bubbles used to do that with who, Slayton? Feldman, no, Feldman. Feldman. And it was like, uh, I've been, have you ever been to, to, to Thailand? Bangkok? No, you? You know, <laughs> jokes like that. Butter. Uh, uh, did you go up to Maine? Where'd you go? Bangor? Oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> but they had like 20 of them or something like that. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So when do you start your new job, Josh? Not till the 16th. Oh, boy. 
Good. You got some time yeah, off. Yeah, Josh, about that. <clears throat> how, many, uh, how many weeks vacation do you get with this new job? Uh, just a little bit more than I had at the before. What did you have before? I don't remember exactly. I had pretty much about four weeks. Oh, basically. really? That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's terrific. Yep. You know, I mean, I, 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 I think that every, every place should have, oh, here's a person called Lisa Jacobs. <laughs> oh, gee, we're oh, getting no. a lot of new people who find this yeah. show really interesting, you know? <laughs> Mm. This could be uh, okay. Salman with a different name. You think? Uh, here, let me just remove her, right? Yeah. yeah. Remove. There we go. No, I'm not going to report it because when you report it, when you report it to Zoom, they then ask you a whole bunch of questions you have to answer. Bail yeah. your papers. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so i well, We had a. I did my little New Year's show, and that was it. And. Uh, and now we have Samuel T. and and Lisa. <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll remove those, and we'll remove. Wait a minute! Isn't that Jack Bishop's uh, alter ego? N no. <laughs> no. 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 Don't report. Okay. Fine. Uh, there. There they go. I hope they got the the idea that we weren't going to go with them, but. Uh, well, now they'll come in with uh, Samuel T and J. Yeah, what what I would say to all of you, if oh here's James Hackett or something. Oh God, Buddy Hackett. Hackett's brother. Yeah, uh, I mean, remove. Okay, I'm having fun removing all of these. What happens if Zoom you don't on. remove them? Do they automatically come on? What? What happens if you don't remove them and don't do anything? They don't automatically come on, no. Oh, uh -uh. Sit in, no. in limbo. No. I mean, I can just let him sit there in the, uh, right. oh, uh, you know, in the, what do you call it, room? The wait, waiting wait, room. Wait. Yes, uh, yes, Bree. Well, I want to ask Josh a question because it, when he changed jobs, like, I always think when if I'm going to change a job, like, I, I, I find another one mm -hmm. and I make sure that it's much better. But... If I like where I'm at, I'll go to where I'm at and say, hey, guys, this came up. So can you do this and make it better? Or were you just like, I want to move on? <clears throat> uh, I didn't ask to stay. Oh. I wasn't. It, it, you, I... In other words, you weren't using this as a ploy to get another, you know, to get more money out of your current company. No. My problem with my current company was not really money. Uh, although I am not being paid fairly, uh, it was not the main issue. It was not the main issue. What was the main issue? They were just work things that you didn't like. Yeah, just internal. Yeah, you know, I don't. I don't have. I do a job that really wasn't made well. That isn't part of mine. You know, I did a lot of supply chain work. Um, uh, that I got roped into when they laid some people off. And then when they brought all the supply chain people back and then they expanded that staff, you would have thought that that would have went back to them, but it didn't, it stayed with me. Mm -hmm. And I got a lot of excuses about why, and you know, and the person that runs the supply chain team in the plant there, I really can't stand, you know, everyone knows that that's, you know, I think they would have preferred that we got along better and I fucking didn't really care what they preferred. Is this know. more of a desk job than your other one was? Uh, yeah, I mean, my other one was supposed to be desk, but, it's, you know, it's never have enough people either. You know, it always turned into a hassle. And... Now, did you rec did they recruit you or did you go after them? Uh, it was a little bit of both. I, I found it and then... Uh, I'd heard about it, and then after I reached out to them, they got a hold of me pretty quick because it's uh, it's almost the exact same job, so it really, really it is. And with anybody else, they probably would have had to train them to do it, right? Yeah, right. I mean, I'll have to be trained for their, you know, their intercompany processes, but I mean the uh, yeah. the materials that they use and the companies that they buy them from. I mean, no, that's all. It's all the same. I mean. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I mean, places, they come to our place and drop stuff off, and they leave our place and go straight over there and drop stuff off. 
you know it's the same same stuff it's it's really the exact same job yeah I mean, yeah what happened to phil did he drown <coughs> well when you gotta go you gotta go i guess i guess <laughs> so lately i've been belching a lot and marjorie says i think you're sick i think you should go see a doctor <laughs> i'm going for belching so i looked up belching and you know why you belch i i drink see the stuff i drink oh, this yeah. seltzer no oh, wonder fine. i belch all the time yeah. son of a bitch you know carbonation yeah yeah but uh uh you know i mean i uh uh for new year's we just did the little show and that was it you know i didn't uh marjorie would have been to bed by 10 o'clock that night if it hadn't been for me you know so and, and a lot of these people showed up and i thank you for that you know you're welcome it was kind of a melding Bye. of the monday and the and the and the ramble people all in one place yeah and uh uh, it was, uh, you know, it was a nice evening, you know, so, and I, it's, I suddenly realized I was actually spending New Year's with my friends, so that was good. So, Charlie, how's everything in Texas? God damn it. It finally warmed up, I'm telling you. Really? Yeah. All the rain we're getting is coming your way. Oh, I don't want it. I don't think it's coming our way necessarily, you know. I don't think so. Um... We've, I mean, we've had unusual weather. We got really cold a couple of weeks ago. We were freezing our asses off here. And it hasn't been that cold, I don't think, in quite a few winters now. But, uh, you know, I don't remember. I, the winters here in New York are not as severe as they used to be when I first moved here back about, you know, 30 years ago. Uh, and then you used to see snow piled up, you know, on corners because all the plows would come along and then scoop all the snow up and put it on corners. I saw one that was like, you know, <laughs> 30 feet high. Mm -hmm. People would find their cars in the snowbank in the spring. You know what I saw? There was a car right in front of the ABC building where I worked. And I came out that night and it was like halfway filled to the top with snow. And then the next day I came in, it was almost filled all the way to the top with snow. And then for the rest of the winter, that snow remained there and the hump where the car was was still there. And then the snow melted and the car wasn't there anymore. How many tickets did they give it before they towed it? <laughs> That's probably what happened. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's just, <coughs> just amazing to me. <clears throat> mm. But anyway, so uh, so you know, I hope our uh, who is this? Oh, Adam again is trying us. Oh, I see. Yeah, they Maybe he's on. better with the program, mm -hmm. and he can get the very strong guy on. Yeah, he's got a shirt on this time. Uh, Remove. There we go. <laughs> Was Adam the guy who called us earlier? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, so. yeah, yeah. Samuel or something like that. Yeah. So, uh, Salman, Salman. So I was trying to play games with this guy. He was like leading up to something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Photo maybe maybe right. he's got a real speaker. Yeah. Oh, by the I way, I spoke to, um, I uh, not spoke, I wrote to uh, um, uh, Rob Alfano. And uh, wow. he's now, he's in, uh, he's in the Philippines. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. What, what, what part, about Alex? Yeah. I'll be there uh, April... End of March, early. April, I don't know where early, in the Philippines. Early. Downtown Philippines, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, is his phone middle, number the same? Uh, is he still using the state side? You know, phone? I didn't ask him, but I don't think you'd want to call him on that phone because I think it would cost him a lot of money. That's right. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah. he doesn't. He, 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 he's got to get he, a local. He look for a wife. No, he's got a wife. He's got a wife. Yeah. His wife well, is from wife. Philippines. I think. My wife's from the Philippines. Yeah, well, she's from the Philippines too. His wife, and she wanted she was homesick. She wanted to move back, and he was sick of what was going on. Is she from Manila or Cebu or? I, I don't I know. I from say, the provinces. Orkai, uh, possibly. But anyway, he's uh, he says it's it's been quite a quite a thing to do because he's got to get a driver's license, you know, and he's got to get. Uh, 
uh, a, a citizen card or some kind of card you have to get. Permanent resident. Your permanent residence. You know about all of this, right? How long have you Good been? Good luck in... trying to learn how to drive in the Philippines. <laughs> I've been there. Really? You don't want to drive there. Oh, really? Don't, don't they that... use like motorbikes and and motorbikes and what they call tricycles, which is no. these little taxi little taxi motorbikes. Yeah, they have that's like awesome. a sidecar. Yeah, I think they call them. And they have, what they use are called jeepneys. Yeah, well, one night we were uh, uh, going back to my brother-in-law's house um, after visiting my mother-in-law who was in the hospital mm -hmm. after having a stroke there when we went on vacation. And the one night uh, we saw this uh, tricycle, there was seven people hanging off of this thing. <laughs> One, there was a girl on top of the roof of the sidecar mm -hmm. holding a phone up, taking a selfie. Oh, really? And it was nighttime. We got cable cars in San Francisco. They do the same thing. Really? Yeah. They get no, the no way. They get people really? hanging on. But not on the roof, though. Come on. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> The, the hills the cable cars go on, Tony, they'd slide right off the roof. Sure. These are some steep hills. Now it's Thomas Johnson. <laughs> uh, Tom John. Tom John. Uh, hey, they, yeah, Rob won't have big much Tom, trouble. he's strong. <laughs> he's got a Filipino wife. Yeah. Does he, do they have kids? No. Oh, uh, then he might have... Yeah, that usually strengthens the application. Um, She's a citizen. And, has, and oh, yeah, and, that won't matter. Yeah, he, no. he needs to have enough money. He has to have money in the bank, and he has to. Um, Where's this? Philippines. The, if he, Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. If he, if he wants to uh, retire there and um, own property, so that kind of thing. his wife. She can own or, property. Doesn't matter because oh, she's really? a citizen there. Yes, yeah. that's right. But yeah, but he will still have to go through the application process, and they will have to approve it. My um, girlfriend gave up her citizenship when she became an American, so she's she can't buy property in the. Where was she from? No, she, my face from the Philippines. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. What is this war bride you, night on our show? Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> it's really yeah. Manila, I hear are there women in other parts of the world? I don't know. Yeah. Just to, you know. Well, look at Brian. <laughs> Brian found another place. You know, what did you say, Brian? Well, the the advantage that you know for Filipinos have is that they speak English, you know, and this is why they can travel abroad and they work in many countries because they speak English, and that's all thanks to the fact that the United States gave we provided them with education, whereas the Spanish tried to, you know, block yeah. block that. Yeah, but uh, Brian, your your significant other. I guess that's the best thing. To whatever she what, is. Yeah. Whatever she is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The mother of your child. How's yes. that? Okay. Uh, um, did you meet her here? Or did you meet her over there? Uh, window shopping. I was window shopping for a girl in Vietnam and found her. No. Not her work. <laughs> no, she was here. She was here. She'd she was been here. here for a long time. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. No, but my, one of my friends, he actually, he was here. He's very successful at Intel. And we gave him a lot of shit because basically he went there and they the guy showed her showed him like three women and then they were and they were working and so we called it window shopping and he picked one yeah. and he got married. You want to hear a, you want to hear a story even crazier than that? Yeah. I had a I had a neighbor in Singapore, and every three months he would have a new woman from the from Vietnam come, and at the end of, he he was a black belt in karate. This guy was crazy. And he, he had kicked his uh, British wife out. And so every three months, a new girl. And I, I'd say, why are you doing that? He said, the first one who gets pregnant, I will marry her. And so the, on the third one, he got married. And they, they ended up having two kids. And uh, that was that. She was from Vietnam. Look who's here, ladies and gentlemen, making a guest appearance on our program. It's Adrian. How are you? Yeah, you got to talk. I told you you better talk. What did you want to do? Go. Oh, yours. Oh, my gosh, she's scrubbing up. She wanted to. Sh she wanted to show you this tonight. Oh, oh, oh wow! Wait, 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 wait! wait. She didn't, she oh, didn't draw it though. She didn't draw it. She colored. Uh, she colored oh. it. Yeah, it looks. Yeah. yeah. 
this, yeah. But still. Looks like a scene from Gravity. Yeah. <laughs> nice, the, uh, nice colors. We yeah, we sent you some that stuff. Major Tom? Uh, you should give me some new stuff to stick up on my door because all the stuff I have yeah. now is like she was yeah. basically a child at the time. Yeah, we sent you stuff yesterday. Yeah. There's a package coming to you. Oh, oh good. Good. Yeah. I look forward to it. I'll take down the old ones and put up the new ones. Yeah. Okay, yeah. your time is at then. Bye-bye. <laughs> Well, Bubbles had a really good Bubbles had a good line. He said, "Almost New Year's Eve, and I can't find my gun." <laughs> <laughs> Bubbles posted on New Year's Eve. Uh, that's cute. That's cute. Uh, uh, Don't uh, talk uh, about guns, or you'll get demonetized. Did she... was, was 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 Bubbles a rent a cop too? I'm sorry. <laughs> what no, is that? Is it, that? A, did you frame that too? No, it's it's a canvas from Michaels. Michael's uh, Arts and Crafts. We went there yesterday. Oh, really? Okay, cool. So, happy, happy no. New Year, everyone. Alex, they're calling me into a meeting. Okay, so anyway. Hey, happy good New to Year. see you, Bree. Right. Call us happy anytime you can. It's a meeting. It's the middle I'll of the night. I'll see you guys soon. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Take care. By the way, Mar Wait. Margaret Michelle now, who, they, who, can't, who can't spell the word Michelle properly, <laughs> M-I-S-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E. is that how you spell Michelle? You, you can't trust people with two first names. Mm -hmm. Ma Margaret Michelle, yeah, right. It's two first names. Yeah. Anyway, so where was I? So, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> That's the fish look. Here's the only face I can really make. This was, Harpo Marx used to do this one. Okay, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> She's okay. being very cool. She's being very cool. She she's gotten she gotten really, you know. She's really cool now. She's just very sedate. Growing up. My hands are too slippery. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they no. say something. I did. Okay. Then I don't know what to do. Ha. Hi. Hi. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Anything else? Uh, what, what else? What else is there to talk? Oh, some, about? some 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 guy in his Tesla with his family went off of Highway One, and they say it could have been. He, so what did they say? He could, it could have been done on purpose. Right. Like he was in. I don't know what. An oh, argument. you mean that Tesla that, that fell off of that cliff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought on purpose. I thought it was that an ad for Tesla. Here you can this oh. cliff. This, how how high was the cliff? Two hundred and fifty feet. Two hundred and fifty feet. Yeah, yeah. and the it car was, fell. And they to, survived. And they survived <laughs> and got up and walked away with just a couple of bruises. Now they were they yeah. were hurt. So, uh, they're in a doctor. Condition. Critical condition. Yeah. They're oh really? In condition. Oh okay. Yeah. But, I, he was okay. a doctor. Oh really? Kids are okay with the. The adults got hurt. It was his double Tesla slight. Was stopped, his Tesla oh, stopped yeah. going down. But I'd say that's a good ad for Tesla. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, they the first thing they did is make sure it wasn't on autopilot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> most, uh, they, they're going to arrest him for attempted murder. Yes. Yeah. Right. Attempted murder of who? <laughs> his, his, his wife and his family. kids. But yeah. Uh, but who's going to get arrested for attempted murder? The driver, driver the doctor. Driver. Oh, it's a guy driving the car, too? The, the, the right. witnesses, yeah, the father. Yeah, the witnesses yeah. said that he drove intentionally off the edge. Yeah. Wow. wow. You know, uh, there, there are some photographers that have been uh, with a Tesla that somebody followed them home, broke the rear window of the Tesla, stole their stuff. The photographer got in his car, started chasing the guy, and tried to hit him with the Tesla, but the accident avoidance thing wouldn't well, allow the Tesla to hit the guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, they'll never be... make good police cars. Yeah. Anyway, hey, listen, we got to go. Thank you, Phil. I appreciate it. My we, pleasure. We won't see you for a couple of weeks, I guess. Or yeah, a week. yeah. Or a Alan week. will be happy. <laughs> we won't. Oh, Brian's celebrating. We won't. We, <laughs> the viewership uh, uh, is going to go through the roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, they'll have me the next day. And uh, also, thank you so much, very much, uh, Charlie, for being here. Josh, always good to see you. Of course, Adrian and her dummy, uh, Brian. <laughs> oh, look at her. She just can't. She's just a dancing fool. Uh, and hey, I hope you get your kidney, Trucker Steve. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're keeping our fingers crossed on that one. And also, oh, hey, thank you so much uh, uh, for being here tonight, Alan. Also, Kevin, thank you for being here. And, of course, the wonderful uh, 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 Tony for Tony. being here. Anyway, thank you all. Why don't you all give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a wave, big wave goodbye at you. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll call it quits for tonight, I guess. All right, there they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Thank you so much, folks. I really appreciate it. And uh, Jack Bishop hopefully will be next over most of this same station. Uh, and uh, you stay tuned for that. He's here. Uh, and he'll be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. I'm Alex Bennett. See you again tomorrow. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.